Yo, this is honestly why Cardi deserves, you know, just the praise that he actually gets. You know, he's he's a straight up legend, man, and he's one of my favorite in the last five years. It's obviously like Yeet, Uzi, probably Juice, and then Cardi. But I don't know, I was just scrolling through the Cardi community on Twitter, like, you know, at the Reddit forum type of type of thing, and it just brought back some memories of the whole Rico Nasty situation. And Rico Nasty was actually opening for Cardi the Narcissist Tour. He was originally supposed to draw up a brand new project called Narcissist, but he ended he didn't end up doing it, which I was a little bit chapped about, a little bit disappointed if you know what I mean, but it is what it is. He was pretty much touring for, you know, a whole lot of red because a whole lot of red came out in 2020 of December. Previously, you know, pretty close to the same year as 2021. And then he went on tour in October. I think it started October 14th. Let me just double check. But yeah, it started October 14th. And man, that was a crazy, crazy tour. You know, he did do a few live performances and I think it was Rolling Loud a few times, you know, performing the album. And that's just like when the album like actually really got like a new life and appreciated. Like when I first saw or first listened to A Whole Lot of Red, I knew it was going to be a classic. Like I knew it was just such a good project, but people didn't really feel that until he started performing it live because it's more of like a performative album and people just really started appreciating it. But anyways, speaking of Rico Nasty, there was serious issues with her and Playboy Cardi fans. And how did he address it all? And this is why Cardi just deserves all of the praise. Because literally fans were like straight up just booing Rico Nasty. They were throwing shit on stage. They were just not hyped to see Rico Nasty on tour with Cardi. But in my opinion, I feel like Rico Nasty and Cardi sound kind of aligned together pretty well because we're gonna actually kind of does that that rage type of hyper pop type of shit kind of like cardi so it was really interesting to see that she didn't really translate to cardi's fans and community which is definitely disappointing like i remember seeing videos of people just throwing shit on stage and it was just wild cardi spoke to her a lot during the tour he told her she had to keep going because that's what will happen if they don't like you, they're just not going to like you, or they're going to troll, or whatever. You have to stick it out through that time. And at the end of the day, when you're finished with it, they're going to rock with you. Cardi told the fans who picked her for the opener portion of the show. So, you have to rock with her. His coming on stage with her was super dope too. It was a lot of support we gave. These fans can be vicious out here. And yeah, I actually remember when um. Rico Nasty brought Cardi on stage and shit like that. And everybody was finally giving her a little bit more love because she was just getting so much hate, like I was saying before, like throwing shit on stage. It was, it was crazy, man. It was crazy, but no one else does this. Cardi definitely deserves his praise with a whole lot of red and just like helping out his openers. And even recently, he's been giving love to Destroy Lonely and King Carson, like finally. Because it was like he just didn't even really co-sign them and they were like on the same label and shit, you know what I mean? Like he went on stage with King Carson and Destroy the Lonely performing at some festival in like Germany or something. So man, that was, that was definitely like a pretty wholesome moment in my opinion. But I don't know, let's just take it back to these like tour dates. Like he went to Nashville, Charlotte, Gainesville, Miami, he went to Florida twice. I really wanted to see the, the Vancouver show, but unfortunately, it actually got canceled. I think he just wasn't able to get through the border or something, but the weird part of this, he went to Toronto, so I just don't know why he didn't come to to Vancouver, the PE Forum. I had some bros that ended up, or I ended up actually going to it, and then later found out that it got canceled, so I was like, damn, that's super rough, but yeah. This is why Cardi honestly deserves straight up praise, man. And this helping someone out, you know what I mean? Like Rico Nasty, which is super respectable. I mean, he should be doing that anyways, but just knowing Cardi just being super mysterious and shit like that and just like doesn't really say shit, doesn't really give out cosigns. I was like, that was a big move for Cardi, if you know what I mean.